Today I'm doing my review of the UTG L96 with the new digital camouflage pattern. I put um, camouflage regs on here. I cut them up and used rubber bands to hold them on. Okay, um, when you get this gun, it comes in two pieces. The barrel, the barrel to the bolt assembly, and the trigger is one piece, and the stock right here is another piece. Um, in order to assemble it, uh, Air Supply gives you a big Allen wrench, and they give you a little one too. I'll get to the little one later. The big one is what you use to assemble it with. You have two screws, that's all you need to assemble this. And one screw's in that hole, one screw is in that hole, right down there. The screws are already built in, so all you need to do is just put your on wrench in the hole and just screw it till it's tight. Likewise with this one, put your on wrench in the hole right there, just screw it until it's tight. The barrel is all metal, including the bolt assembly and the trigger. But uh, the, the stock right here, the stock is plastic, but it's like a heavy duty, high quality plastic. So, um, this gun, it comes with a sling. Not that good of a sling, because the clips, they are thin little clips. And this gun is pretty heavy for clips this size, so I imagine they would bust. But all you do, if you haven't, if you can't see, you just clip on clips to the hook right here, like that. Very easy and simple. Black eyes with the other one, clip on like that. Also on the other side, you got the same thing. You get the little hooks right there right there too I do not prefer using the sling like I already said before cheap um, not built strongly it also comes with um, a metal bipod right here there's little knobs on the bipod to fold it up like that and fold them back down to um lengthen the legs, all you gotta do is twist the bottom down here and they pop right out. Um, if you ever want to take this off, there's a button right here on the bottom of the gun. You just push that, pull the bipod right out. Very easy and simple. Not that hard to do. Um, it is bolt action. So, very easy. Uh, you got the safety right here. Safety's off. Now it's on. You also got another safety mechanism, which is right here. The trigger it looks like a small little trigger. And then the big trigger. Well, the little trigger, you have to push that down and before you can fire, before you can pull the bigger trigger. Because if you pull the bigger trigger without pulling that down, it won't be able to fire. So that's a safety mechanism. Um, adjustable cheek pad, cheek rest, you unscrew these two screws right here and this, this, uh, cheek pad, it raises up and down and you can adjust it to whatever you want. You also got adjustable butt pad, you got a screw right there and a screw right there. You just, um, you unscrew those screws and it can easily come out. Um, you also got a section right in here, it's like a plate. You just pull that plate out and put the outer pad on and the screws back on and it's shorter then. Um, it's got hop up. Okay, this is where your small little Allen wrench comes into play. There's a little screw in there. Right in there. Um, you use your little Allen wrench and you put it in that. Put it in there and you just you turn it to the left for normal and to the right for hop up and then you also got your clip your magwell's right there this is your clip 
Air Splat sends you two of them. Each Air Splat said they can each hold 30, but I've only got 25 in there. Um, to load the clips, Air Splat, they give you a quick loader with a quick loader attachment. Do not lose that quick loader attachment. It's, you're going to have a heck of a time trying to put the BBs back in the clip right here. What I did, I, hot, I got a hot glue gun, put it on low temperature so I didn't melt the plastic, and I just glued it, glued the adapter onto the quick loader. Um, so all you do, you just put it on there like this. Make sure it's like horizontal like that. And you just put BBs in there until it gets hard to push. And you know your clip is fully loaded. Um, then after you get done doing that, you just put your clip. You can see, you just put your clip in there. Wait to hear that click. When you hear that click, you know um, that it's securely locked in. And to pull it out, you just push this little lever right here. It pops right out. Um, I recommend using... 0.25 BBs because it's a lot more they're a lot more accurate point uh, air spot said that 0.2 BB shoot 480 feet per second 0.25 probably shoot about 430 440 but still that's fast it looks a lot fat it looks a lot faster than what it sounds um, that's that's it on the ammunition now I got a scope this does not come with the um, gun. You have to buy it separately. On I bought it from Airsplat. It's a Leapers or UTG scope. 3 by 9 times 40 with red and green illuminations. It's got dust covers. Or, yeah, dirt covers. Flip, flip open. Um, the dial for the red and green illuminations right here. You flip it towards the front of the gun for green. Flip it towards the back of the gun for red. This top dial up here adjusts your um, crosshairs up or down in the gun in the scope and this uh, dial adjusts your crosshairs left or right um all together this gun I would definitely recommend it very heavy duty very accurate and powerful um the only downfall this gun is it's pretty heavy so when it comes to like running I mean it it wears you down at least it wears me down but um anyways it's a good gun. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching my review of the UTG L96.